we are about to hear the story behind the difference that has been brought about in the lives of thousands of children bereft of even the basic necessities of living nutrition education and health care in the last 10 years satguru shri madhusudan sai has initiated and executed various humanitarian service projects across 30 countries apart from several institutions of public service all rendering services completely free of charge to the needy in india three notable institutions have made remarkable progress in furthering the cause of free values based education through the shri satyasai lokaseva gurukulam group of institutions free tertiary health care services through the shri satyasai sanjeevani hospitals shri satyasai sarla memorial hospital and free morning nutrition to the rural poor and the deprived sections of the society through the shri satyasai annapurna trust every single morning 503,000 children across 6,477 centers in 19 states and three union territories are being served their morning nutrition through 650 Annapurna volunteers. As of March 2022, 200 million breakfast meals have been served. This nutrition initiative has also taken up allied service activities in the sectors of Vidya, Vaidya and Vari. During the COVID period between March 2020 and March 2022, the Sri Satisai Annapurna Trust, in collaboration with like-minded partners and the government, distributed close to 100,000 Russian kits, over 104,000 meals, close to 52,000 Sai Shua multi-nutrient supplement packets, and over 41,804 COVID prevention kits to over 45 million beneficiaries families, children, COVID patients and other needy individuals across the states of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha, Bihar, Uttarakhand, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala. Educare. True education emerges from the heart and it shines in the beauty of the spirit and of highest wisdom. A practical testimony to implementing the authentic Indian way of education from grade 6 up to research is gifted absolutely free of cost. As of March 2022, 5,000 students, both boys and girls, from grade 6 till research in 26 campuses spread across 19 districts in Karnataka, one in Telangana and one in Tamil Nadu are receiving this priceless gift of education. The institution took a resolute step of educational sustenance to all the students of the various campuses and also to all rural children in the country at large by launching the Sri Satisai Loka Seva Gurukulam online learning space completely free of cost and accessible to all. Apart from this, 45 students who lost their parents to COVID were embraced with open arms and admitted in the institution. Scholarships have also been extended to 75 children who wanted to continue learning at their hometowns. Sri Satyasai Lokaseva Gurukulam Group of Institutions has turned a new leaf in its story by establishing an exclusive Veda Gurukulam. Sri Satyasai Lokaseva Veda Gurukulam. The purpose of the Gurukulam is to promote learning and research in Vedic studies and to disseminate its priceless wisdom to all without any discrimination while also relating it to the contemporary context. Students who join the Gurukulam after their Upanayana will be provided with accommodation, boarding and lodging and education, both Paravidya, spiritual knowledge, and Aparavidya, secular knowledge, completely free of all costs. The Sri Satisai University for Human Excellence has taken the next big step by envisioning to expand its services by providing free medical education to the rural students with the sole aim of creating service-minded medical professionals who will serve in rural geographies. In this direction, a free medical college will be established soon at Satisai Grama in Mudenahalli by the university. Healthcare. Right to good health is a basic human right of every human born on this planet. In today's trend, where there is no health without wealth, there is a need for action, an action that upholds the very values of the divine art of healthcare. With this idea, Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai embarked on the mission of providing compassionate, quality, 
and free of cost healthcare, starting with the heart, healing little hearts by addressing the national burden of congenital heart diseases in children. Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani Centers for Child Heart Care, providing high quality child heart care to all in need, totally free of cost to address in part the global burden of congenital heart diseases. Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani began this journey by establishing the first dedicated, totally free of cost, Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani Center for Child Heart Care in Nava Raipur, Atal Nagar, Chhattisgarh in November 2012. In November 2016, the second Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani International Center for Child Heart Care and Research was inaugurated by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, at Baghola, Palwal District, Haryana. Sri Satya Sai Sanjeevani Center for Child Heart Care and Training in Pediatric Cardiac Skills, Kargar, Navi, Mumbai, was established in November 2018. The gift of life is given to those children who get a new lease of life after undergoing their cardiac procedure at these hospitals. As of March 2022, over 14,000 pediatric cardiac surgeries and more than 5,000 cath interventions have been performed across the three heart care centers. Close to 160,000 pediatric cardiac outpatients have been attended to and over 192,000 outreach screenings have also been conducted. Due to the COVID pandemic and the strain on national health care resources, non-COVID health services were severely impacted. Sanjeevani pledged to continue providing life-saving services during the tumultuous times. Adhering to internationally recommended COVID controls, Sanjeevani offered outpatient, surgical and cath lab services totally free of cost. During the COVID period, 39,000 outpatient consultations and 5,000 surgeries were done. Maternal and Child Health Divine Mother and Child Health Programme started in September 2017, focusing on preventive care for pregnant women and children. This is a comprehensive early detection and systemic health screening program for rural school-going children and pregnant women based in Government of India's Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karikram, RBSK, and focuses on detection of four Ds, that is, defects at birth, deficiencies, disease, and developmental delays and disabilities. Over 85,000 children and 16,250 pregnant mothers have been screened and treated. Healthcare education and training. The hospital at Navi Mumbai conducts numerous academic training and skill development programs for doctors, nurses, and allied healthcare providers to develop their skills and experience. On the research front, the Sri Satisai Sanjeevni Research Center for Congenital Heart Diseases at Palwal, Haryana pursues advanced human genomic research in congenital heart diseases and aims at unraveling the possible causes of this disease. This center also houses India's first biobank. As a preventive step to mitigate cardiac defects and to tackle the problem of hidden hunger, Sai Shua, a multinutrient supplement program launched in February 2019 as an attempt to address the specific nutritional needs of expecting women, toddlers, preschoolers and children at absolutely no cost. Sai Shua for pregnant women is served to 5,000 expecting mothers every month. Sai Shua for toddlers is served to 1,500 toddlers every month. Sai Shua for preschoolers is served to 3,000 preschoolers every month. And Sai Shua for children is served to more than 4 lakh children every single month. With the growing need for a multidisciplinary facility, the Sri Satya Sai Sarla Memorial Hospital at Muddinahalli, Karnataka has been established as a 150-bedded high-dependency inpatient facility with specially equipped pediatric and neonatal ICU facilities providing services completely free of cost. Sri Satya Sai Sarla Memorial Hospital will soon grow into a teaching and training institution for doctors and paramedical staff. Apart from the pediatric cardiac hospitals, the healthcare mission is all set to expand and establish 
10 mother and child hospitals across the country in rural areas to cater to the pressing needs of maternal and infant health care in India. Two hospitals at Navaraipur and Yavatmal are already operational. To take this triple elixir of nutrition, education and health care to the doorsteps of children living in the remotest parts of Indian villages in his footsteps of love all and serve all.